We've talked about the most underrated film of the decade. Now let us talk about the most underrated film of the Vicennial. Atlantis The Lost Empire is, like I said, the most underrated film of the Vicennial. This film is underrated because just like LOTG, this didn't really do great in the box office. And I don't think a lot of people are talking about this very often. And that sucks because this film is so awesome and deserves so much attention. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This movie marks the 41st entry in the Disney animation canon, and its first science fiction film. Yes, it's true. This film is the very, 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 very first Disney science fiction movie. Now before we get to why this film is amazing, let's talk about the weakest idiosyncrasy of this film. Just like Legend of the Guardians, the story is the worst part of this film. It's nothing but a generic, I know this place is real and I'm going to prove it kind of story. In summary, the plot is all about some guy who believes Atlantis exists, but nobody believes him. One day, he is offered to go to an expedition to find out if Atlantis really exists. He made friends along the way. He and his crew eventually made it to Atlantis. Later on, it was revealed that one of their crewmates is a money-hungry mercenary who came here just for money. He believes that the heart of Atlantis contains all the money. He wants to take the heart, but it will kill the Atlanteans. So our main hero, along with his friends, strive to stop him. And they did stop him in the most vicious way possible. In the end, they saved Atlantis and they lived happily ever after, blah blah blah. Yeah, the story is extremely cliche, but I honestly don't mind because everything else is awesome. The animation is dazzling. Just look at it. I watched this when I was a kid and my jaw dropped for one and a half minute because it's just so marvelous. This is definitely worth a wallpaper. Do I even need to mention this part? Or this part? Or this part? No, I don't. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let us now get to the absolute best hallmark of this motion picture. In my opinion, it's the Dramatis Personae. Milo James Thatch is a pretty good main protagonist. Kida is a cool princess and Rourke is honestly okay, but the side characters are formidable. We have Jaytan Moyer, Jebediah Allergis Farnsworth, Joshua Sweet, Vincenzo Santorini, The Old Lady, and Audrey Ramirez. I love how they gave each side character distinct personalities and interesting backstories. Vinny is someone who used to run a flower shop with his family, until one day he survived an explosion from his Chinese next door neighbor. From there he began his career as a demolition expert. Joshua is a doctor who used to join the Spanish-American War. Cookie is someone who used to be in the army, until he decided to quit and take culinary classes. Audrey is a born-to-be mechanic who loves to help her father run their workshop. Mrs. Packard is someone who used to be a happy dancer. She is currently a lonely divorcee and a relict. I can now understand why she acts like that. And Mole is someone who's, uh... I actually don't know. Overall, the side characters are, in my opinion, the best part of this film. They're actually the entire reason why I think this film is awesome. And let's not forget the absolute best scene in the whole movie. After Kida merges with the giant crystal, they kept her in a crate. Just before they take off, Milo tells them that their actions will kill an entire civilization. After he punches Milo, which caused him to bleed in a Disney film, some of them decided to do what's right and join sides with Milo. Now that, my friends, is how you make a brilliant scene with brilliant pacing, brilliant acting, and a brilliant message to top it all off. This scene gets me every single time I watch it because it makes the characters feel so realistic and human. Realizing your faults makes you a realistic human being. In conclusion, go watch this film if you want to witness breathtaking animation and amazing characters. Because this is truly Disney's most underappreciated magnum opus. He's a rocket and he's ready to go Cause I'll count down a sword